I'm making this video in response to the YouTube channel, The Linux Gamer. Uh, he asked the community to talk about why we choose to use Linux. And while it's not exactly the type of content I'm trying to provide here, I think it's a thought provoking question and challenging to answer because it's one of those topics like politics, religion, or pineapple pizza that I'd normally just prefer to avoid. When I did my review on the Steam controller, I actually made it a point not to explain the reasons behind why I switched to Linux uh, for exactly that reason. Not to mention I'm pretty sure most people just don't care. But if you're here watching this video and you do care, um, the simple answer is, in a proprietary world, decisions are made for you. With open source, the world is full of choices. To explain a bit further, and I apologize in advance if I start to sound like some elitist preachy super user here. So I use Linux because it's open source, and I prefer open source because of all the options that are available to choose from. If you don't like any of those options, then you're more than welcome to create another one. Just as the World Wide Web is intended to be an educational tool that is free and open to everyone, open source software goes hand in hand with that same ideology. If the protocols underlying the web were not open, then it would all fall apart. But because it has largely been a self-regulated, trust-based system in which everyone works together, it has become an intricate part of our lives in which it's hard to imagine a world without it. The issue I have with proprietary software, and hardware for that matter, is the exact opposite. Not only are there far fewer options, but it's often leased or restricted in such a way that you don't even really own what you're paying for. Using the web as a comparison again, it's the equivalent of the ongoing war against net neutrality, which seeks to censor, regulate, and throttle the internet. In other words, proprietary software is built around a form of control that benefits the company or the company's sponsors more than it benefits the end user. Customers become completely dependent on so-called industry standards by investing time into products or services they have no personal stake in until eventually it's their bread and butter and they're convinced they can't go anywhere else. It is quite literally a form of repression. So when companies say that they don't support Linux because there isn't enough demand for it or that people who use Linux are less likely to pay for things anyway, I mean, in some cases that might be true, but I'm pretty sure the truth in most cases is that the lack of support is in their favor. They don't care because they're in a position where they don't have to. Since open source is licensed in such a way that you can do practically anything you want with it, it benefits not only the end user, but new businesses and developers as well. This transparency has allowed it to improve and become more user friendly over the years, working its way into people's lives whether they've realized it or not. As it continues to improve, I'm hopeful that Linux or at least some variation of it will dominate the future as it is undoubtedly a better way forward. But before that can happen, it still needs to overcome the problems that most users experience, which are almost entirely related to the proprietary roadblocks. I'm willing to put up with it because I embrace it for what it is. I mean, I'm on the crusade, man, but not everyone is willing to do that. For those who don't use Linux, I honestly don't hold it against them. Um, use what fulfills your needs or whatever it takes to pay the bills. For me personally, it is so much more than just a tool. It's a liberating and introspective way of thinking that extends to multiple facets of my life. It has honestly helped me find balance. It pushes me to be better. It keeps me honest and it encourages me to give back. There are several games and projects that I would love to be able to support and unfortunately can't, but the comfort in knowing that if I run into any problems that there's an international community, not just a single company, able to look under the hood, there's no turning back from that. So this is why I use Linux. Um, thank you for the question and I'm going to put a link to the Linux Gamer in the description and I look forward to hearing other people weigh in. dominate the future at it as it is